chat. It's really important for you to, be able to get your phone out on mobile and respond to messages. Uh, in Australia, we have the perfect, and by perfect, I mean the, terror, you know, the worst networks in the world. Um, it's a great place for testing network latency because we are a long way from absolutely everywhere. Uh, and so you know, a big bugbear from, of mine was you know, the speed at which some of our products responded uh, on mobile. So we made huge strides there, up to four times faster than we were. I'm incredibly proud of the progress the HipChat mobile team has made over the past year. We've completely refreshed the iOS and Android applications. And as Scott mentioned, they're now significantly faster to open the app, to connect, and to send messages, the critical operations that you want to do in HipChat. We've also launched on other devices. A year ago at Summit, we told you we were going to launch on the day Apple Watch launched. We hit that. We hit it with innovative interfaces. So if you're walking along and someone says you're coming to this meeting, you can just tap and say, I'll be there. Just give them a thumbs up. Quick communication from the devices that you use. At the same time, we're now available on Android Wear, and we've rewritten both of our tablet applications for Android tablet and for iPad. In for indeed, working with iOS 9, so you can now use slide over and things. So you can have multiple applications running with chat on one side, and you can have your web browser or whatever other tools you're using on the other side. And today, we're adding to the Connect family with the launch of HipChat Connect. Now, HipChat Connect is one of the most exciting things that we've worked on in recent times. Why is that? Well, a HipChat room is fundamentally where your team lives. Integrations allow you to bring data and other applications into those conversations that you're having in the team, into the room. But it can create problems. It can be very noisy to have integrations pumping in lots and lots of information on a constant basis, distracts from the conversations you're trying to have. And at the same time, it can create a context switching nightmare, where you're constantly moving from HipChat to another application to get work done, and then back, and losing track of the conversations that are happening. Especially in critical incidents and when time is important, that can be problematic. So let me give you some examples of how HipChat Connect works to solve some of these problems. Firstly, inside the conversations, you often want to discuss not just text, but also objects. So we've created a way to bring in objects to conversations and give you smart previews of those objects so you can have the conversations you need to have without context switching necessarily to go and look at those objects. So news articles are an obvious example of this. But there's a lot of other objects you probably talk about, such as issues. Mention a JIRA issue, you'll now get a rich preview of the issue inside the conversation, which allows people to continue to go. Hey, I didn't know that was a high priority issue. We should talk about that. They don't even need to go to JIRA to find that out. Discussing objects is one thing, but you often want to take action on those objects as well. So let's have a look at a different example inside a software team of how I might take action on the objects that exist from inside HipChat and do it without losing my context. So let's just say that the build is failing when it comes up. I get a notification in the room. There we go. I get a notification in the room that tells me the build has failed. I get a card, and you'll notice with this particular card, I can expand it to get more information. So we've given you a summary, and you can get more inside the conversation if you need it. At the same time, I might have missed this card. I might have been out to lunch. Conversation might have scrolled past, and then I'm in trouble. If that build has failed and it's critical, I'm in trouble. So what we've built is a series of glances now in the sidebar. So when I get back from lunch, I can easily see, oh, there's a one failing build. I should go and have a look at that. I can also take action on that. It's not just about notifications. I can see which build is failing. I know in this case, it happens to be a particularly flaky build, so I'm going to do what bad engineers like myself do and just kick it off again and see what happens. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's gone green. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> and we then notify the team that everything is good. And that's important, too, that we've closed the loop. Not only have I taken action inside of HipChat without losing context of the conversation, but I've also closed the loop. Other people who come to their client will then see, A, there's no failing builds in the, in the glances, or B, you know, they can see the notification and notice that everything is green. And this works far beyond software teams as well. Let's look at engaging customers in a marketing team. Often you want to integrate social media like Twitter into a chat room. It's a very natural thing that people want to do. It's one of our most popular integrations. The problem is tweets can be really noisy. You can end up with a room that's just a wall of tweets going past, and that's not actually very useful. So what we've done is tried to put things like that into the sidebar as well. So here you see I can see a series of mentions of my product in the sidebar. It'll tell me I've got 60, I can drill in and get more detail. What's important here is when I've got that detail, I find individual examples that I as a human want to converse about, and I can take those 
and I can drag them into the chat to have a conversation. So I can take objects out of those streams, and I can choose to pull them into the conversation, which can then trigger my team to have a discussion about it. Things are going well, things aren't going well. The point is I can pull it into my conversation and get the team to notify it. And we've talked a lot about customer feedback and how we listen to you. Similarly, we've built an add-on that brings your NPS right into our product teams. So when you give us feedback, we can see it right inside HipChat. The marketing team, the product team, the engineering team can see it. And again, particular items can be dragged into the conversation, and then the conversation can proceed from there. It's an incredibly powerful framework that we've built. It's a system of connected parts. I wanted to take you through a single worked example to show you how HipChat Connect can let you uh, use all of these uh, building blocks to put together to build really powerful integrations with your own applications inside your own organizations. We start with what we call input actions. Input actions allow you to create objects or start workflows directly from within HipChat, where you're sitting there ready typing at all times. The point with these input actions and with all the add-ons is that they're room specific. So if you have a marketing team room, this might say create a tweet. If it's an engineering team room, it might say create an issue. It will only get the actions, the simplicity that Scott talked about, that your team needs. Those actions can then start some sort of a workflow. In this case, I'm going to create a poll for my team. I can get dialogues and things inside the interface to, take, uh, to build rich interfaces. And then those dialogues and interfaces, again, communicate back to the team with a series of different cards. Cards are very flexible. They can show images, they can show videos, and they can show data. You can get a lot of metadata in there with different types of fields, as you've seen with issues, with polls, with builds. And these cards, of course, they can have their own actions as well. So you can build a series of connected building blocks to build the integrations that make sense for your particular teams. In this case, what would I want to do on a poll? Well, it's a very complicated poll, so I can vote yes or I can vote no. And those votes, they make a difference. I can do that inside the application. Maybe that's done. Maybe I'm done. That's all I do is I vote. But here, I can vote, and then I can get more information as well. And that's where we get into the sidebar and the glances. And we've worked really hard on the way that the glances and the sidebar work with the main chat stream, to be able to drag objects in, to be able to jump back and forth, to have the both sides synchronized at all times. Now, this poll application, again, is running in a different server, but we've brought it in to a single a seamless experience. And the point about glances is not that you can just drill into a lot more detail inside of HipChat, but it's that you can see all of the things that are relevant to your team and only to your team in the interface at all times in the most popular product that you have open on your desktop at all times during the day. So here I can see I've got a poll, but if I'm an engineering team, I want to quickly scan across and see that I've got four open pull requests, unmerged. I have no failing builds and no open alerts in New Relic at the moment, two current incidents going on with status page, and 30 different Twitter mentions. Each team will have a different set of things here that they can add and remove from internal applications or from pre-built add-ons that we have in our, in, our, um, in our library. So that's an example of HipChat Connect, this system of tools that we've put together to build really, really rich, powerful integrations and seamless experiences across HipChat and all the other applications that your team has to use. I want to show you a quick video of all of the different vendors that we've been working with who've built some of these amazing add-ons that you've seen today. HipChat Connect is one of the most powerful APIs we've ever seen in the space. I'm not sure that I personally have seen anything this rich in a chat application that we can pass our incidents to people. Now we can actually present the entire incident with the context of each update um, as it's happening. What HipChat Connect can allow you to do is not have to actually context switch. Your teams can not only discover things in HipChat, they can also agree on next steps and take action right from within the HipChat user interface. So the biggest thing really is the way that we can add to the HipChat client itself. We were able to think about our users first and build the best experience that we could in their platform. The possibilities of collaboration are going to be endless now. We're basically now opening HipChat to the world and telling developers, HipChat is yours, make it what you want. Building software that's used by people around the globe. And your customers are always on, and they expect immediately to, be, to be immediately responded to, regardless of the time of day. Now, this puts a ton of pressure on your software teams, and they need to respond quickly and be available whenever possible. Now, given this world, how are we going to help your teams work more in real time? Well, increasingly, we're actually finding that HipChat is being used as a command center for teams so they can work better in real time. 
Chat is the obvious foundation for HipChat, but the real power comes from those features that you're able to layer right on top of it. Now, let's look at some of these features and how they can help your team. HipChat is where teams live in real time. These teams generally self-organize, and they're on their own dedicated rooms. Now, some of these rooms are actually permanent for each team. This is where they live and breathe on a daily basis. And some of them are just created for a specific event, say, something like Summit. Uh, and then some rooms, well, uh, these rooms are actually just there for fun, and uh, I won't let you know what my favorite one is. Now, in these rooms, people will come and go as needed. But the great thing is that it's all actually reflected from within HipChat. Now, HipChat also helps foster teamwork across the organization, making it really easy to share information and get a hold of the right people quickly. Now, at Atlassian, we have rooms that are focused on specific technologies and best practices. So for example, if you're new on a product team and they use Scala, you can easily find help. Or if you're interested in something like Haskell or Node, it's really easy for you to find that community as well, all within HipChat. Now let's say you need help right away. You can actually at mention people in their team room or in any public room, and you can get their attention straight away. Founders love this feature. Um, now, how many of you receive too many notifications? I expect everyone in the room to be raising their hand. All right. Now, we all know a little something about this at Atlassian. I hate to say it, but this is actually my inbox. Um, and we recognize that we might be causing some of these notifications to be happening. But, but look, we're all getting a ton of notifications. And there's a lot of information that just hits us during the day. And it generally gets buried in our inbox. But what if only the most important information could just come to you in real time? Well, HipChat can actually integrate with your existing applications and notify you when important events happen right within your team's room. Walk you through a couple of examples. This is one where a customer gives you feedback about your product on Twitter and sends you a notification. Now, this is another example where someone on your team actually writes a spec for a feature request in Confluence, and that will show up in your team's room. And then uh, also, because so many of you use Jira, you can actually see that when someone actually creates a Jira ticket, in this case, it's a developer who's just dying to get a specific feature into the product, these also appear in HipChat as well. This is great. All this critical information, it just comes to you. Now, what's really great about HipChat is that I can actually receive notifications from over 100 different products and applications, including your favorite Atlassian products. And with these integration, the information is actually pushed to you so that your team is always in the know and can keep moving quickly. And the name of the game is speed. And notifications are great, but sometimes you just want to take action immediately and do it right within the room. So HipChat allows you to pull key information into the discussion without forcing you to leave the application. Let's say there's a particular JIRA issue that you want to reference. You simply mention that Jira issue key, and then more uh, details about that issue actually appear in chat. It's simple, but it's a very fast way to bring up that information and to get issues resolved in the room itself. Now, but we didn't want to stop there. Now, we use HipChat a lot, and we use HipChat integrations a lot. And as the number of teams and the integrations grew, so did these number of notifications. Now with HipChat Connect, notifications can be aggregated and displayed in a much more organized way for your team. Let's take a look at an example using notifications from Bitbucket. Now with HipChat Connect, we introduce a new concept called a glance. And a glance will actually appear in the sidebar in HipChat and provides add-ons with a place to render notifications and content. For example, with the Bitbucket integration, we can see that there are actually five open pull requests that are listed in the room. By clicking on the glance itself, I can browse the list of open pull requests and get more details about each one. For this pull request, I can see who created it, when it was created, and who the tag reviewers are. 
that this specific pull request is really urgent. And so what I want to do is get the reviewers looking at this right away. So I go into the Actions menu here. And I can see that I can actually poke the reviewers in the room in order to get their attention. And clearly, poking the reviewers is a much better way than just going over their desk and kicking their chair. Provides a nice alternative to that. Now, given this is a priority, I'm only going to poke the reviewers who have yet to approve the pull request so that they can get on this ASAP. The, now, the notification actually shows up in the team room, and an app mentions the person who's not yet responded to, re, to the review. How's that for public shaming? <laughs> now, when the review is complete, an updated notification will now actually appear in the room. Now, surfacing this type of information and allowing simple actions from within HipChat helps your team maintain focus on what's actually important. Now, this is actually a real integration that's used by the HipChat team. And it lets them push to production up to five times a day. Great example of moving quickly. Now, once coding is done and you actually finally ship your product, we all know that that is just the beginning. Once your software is out the door, you're going to use services like New Relic and PagerDuty to understand application performance in production and to notify you if issues arise. The chat ops movement is happening because of tools like HipChat and because of integrations like these. Now, if you're interested to find out more about what the chat ops movement can do for you, I highly encourage you to check out DDA's keynote tomorrow at 9 AM. I know 9 AM is early after Bash, but trust me, it's worth it. Now, as you can see, HipChat is clearly more than just chat nowadays. It's becoming a command center for your team so that they can move in real time. Fundamentally changing the way that they work. And that's why files in HipChat for folks like Brass need to feel like a natural extension of discussions. File previews in HipChat were critical for this, to review mockups, to collect feedback in real time. And this helped Brass meet the demanding timelines of their client. We know this client was demanding because, well, it was us. And over 80 major file types are supported, so no matter what type of file you're working with, we've got you covered. And we've built it to be used across all types of devices. So the file viewer will support you whether you're looking at a PDF, a presentation, and wherever you're looking at it. And of course, whether you're using drag and drop on the desktop client or you're using the native sharing features of your mobile device, HipChat makes it incredibly simple for your marketing or HR team to share files and support collaborate. that mobile nature. And we've invested a lot in the last year to make HipChat better for business users. Let's take a look. So here, we're following Alana. She's a sales rep. She's currently working in a coffee shop on her laptop, connected to her team's HipChat room. And she's got a big deal she needs to close today. But well, because of all the amazing technology we've given Alana, she's having delusions of grandeur. <laughs> she thinks she's a secret agent. Well, now Alana's in transit. She's on her mobile. But mobile's not just about being mobile. It's about having the conversation follow you from one environment or one device to the next. Alana can now scroll through the presentation that she's received on her phone, again, without downloading anything and making sure that it has everything she needs to win this important deal for her team. Now, our HipChat apps for iOS and Android have been completely rewritten from scratch and have all kinds of improvements, including small things like avatars to give it that extra touch of personality. And even when on the move, Alana can quickly respond to a message. Again, HipChat Mobile loads 50% faster, specifically now to make those replies instant. She's checking on pricing. She really needs to win this deal. She needs that approval. And if you were at Summit last year, you heard us jokingly announce support for the Apple Watch a day after the uh, watch was announced. Well, now it's reality. And our apps work across the wearable pantheon. So if you're on Android Wear or Pebble, we've, we've got you covered. Um, and in talking with marketing teams and finance teams, we know a lot of time is spent in meetings. And so being able to quickly reply to an urgent message, it's important. 
And now you can scan your incoming messages at a glance. And if it's something that needs immediate attention, you can just respond with pre-programmed quick replies. Now, if you want to live the fantasy of actually being a secret agent, take advantage of speech recognition and talk right into your watch. So no matter what state she's in or what state of mind she's in, Alana can actually let her team know she's closed the deal and she's on her way home <laughs> in her own strange, unique way. So with faster and more reliable communications across all of our platforms, with conversations that move with you as you go, and with mobile-specific features like quick replies, you can communicate real-time with your entire team, even if you're just a sales agent and not a secret agent. That's this is where chat tools can help, which is why chat ops, if you've heard about chat ops, this practice of <coughs> leveraging chat and ops is picking up steam. In fact, many of you are already using HipChat in your operations teams today. But connecting HipChat to your monitoring tools means that your whole ops team knows straight away when an alert happens, they can quickly get the, people, the right people involved and resolve any issues. So with HipChat, you can have a central command center to filter and qualify the many alerts you're getting very quickly. However, the more alerts, the more services, the more incidents, there can be too much of a good thing. Notifications turn into a fire hose. And what you see here is an actual screenshot from our Atlassian service operations. As you can see, lots going on. It's hard to figure out what alerts are still open, who's working on what, and more importantly, should I stop what I'm doing and jump in to help? With HipChat and Connect, we focused on helping you answer those very questions by building the best chat tool for ops teams. And we're doing that with a great integration framework, and we've also partnered with popular ops tools, which most of you already have, to build a solution that brings systems and people together to resolve incidents faster. Let's see how this works. Now, now is a good time to buckle up your seat belt and give me your full attention, because with chat ops, things are going to go very quickly, OK? So in this case, let's get through it. In this case, a notification comes through for an unusual error rate on the purchasing system. You can see that in the glance. I'm going to go over here. You can see that on the glance on this side of the screen, there is one outstanding alert. Tom in the IT team can acknowledge it to let other people know that he's going to work on it. The alert pops up, indicates that Tom is working on it. He clicks on the alert. New Relic exposes additional information. It shows that this error rate is increasing, so things are getting better. Whoops. Tom is going a little bit too fast, even for me. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what he just did was he went into status I.O., put uh, updated status. It went into the web page so that everyone knows there is an incident. He can focus on the problem as opposed to being distracted with answering hundreds of questions. Back in HipChat, all the information is updated every step of the way, so everything can stay in sync. Tom goes and uh, <coughs> creates a ticket in Jira Service Desk with just one click, as you can see here. Creates the ticket. All the New Relic information is op automatically uploaded. And he creates the ticket just in a couple of clicks. He invites the developer on support for the purchasing team, as well as his manager, to keep his manager in the loop. And <clears throat> since this is the purchasing system, and he knows this is the end of the month, he knows this is an urgent issue. So he creates a room in HipChat. The, uh, all the ticket participants are automatically invited. They get into a room with all the relevant information about the incident. And between dev and IT, they quickly figure out how to resolve this quickly. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> OK, it's now safe to unfasten your seatbelts. <laughs> so as you can see, with HipChat as your command center, you can connect all your ops tools and involve the right people quickly and easily to investigate alerts and figure issues out. <clears throat> 